Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life. I do a whole lot of grocery shopping videos, cooking videos, homeschooling videos, cranberry farming videos, that kind of thing. So today I have for you guys a grocery haul. First, let me just tell you, it totaled $167.81, which is a very small grocery um, bill for me. I have been for like 20 plus years, <laughs> 25 years, um, I have been once a month grocery shopping. There's a few times in there where I do not. A lot of times in December, I do not once a month grocery shop. And just because with the holidays and everything, I find that I like to have a little more flexibility and I don't mind running to the grocery store to pick up a few things that I might need. Anyway, here we are. This is grocery shopping for January and I have been telling you that I was going, that I'm going to start shopping differently and you're going to see that in the videos and you've already seen some of those videos and here we are with another one of those different videos. Well, I shouldn't say different video, but just different shopping. <laughs> so look at that. Maria got the chairs ready like we always do. Usually we have to do overflow meat here and we usually have to do drinks and things over there, but we just don't have that this time because I have been shopping differently. So already for the month of January, I have already gone to, let's see if you guys can see that. I have already gone to Piggly Wiggly and picked up all of these items on sale and you may have already seen that grocery haul. I also went to pick and save. I did not grocery haul that, but I did get a whole lot of cereal. I picked up the bacon and I picked up, I can't even read what that says to the camera, Tostitos. And I feel like I picked up a couple. Oh, and we got some Sunday donuts too. But that one I did not haul for you guys and that totaled right around 50 I think that was right about $50 because so what I've been doing is shopping the flyers. I have been looking at the flyers. Well, I've only had one week of this so far, but I looked at the flyers. I went and I circled all of the items that would be a better price than Aldi. And then I just kind of shopped like that. So I'm going to get on with the haul here for you guys. And I'm going to tell you a couple things that I have learned so far. So I did need some chicken. I did want to pick up the chicken at Piggly Wiggly, which they did have bone-in drumsticks and thighs for $1.69 a pound. I thought that was a great price, but Aldi had been around that price, and now they've actually dropped it down. So, let's see. So for the chicken thighs, um, and then when I went to Piggly Wiggly, they only had drumsticks, so I picked up a pack of those. Okay, but then here at Aldi, I picked up the thighs, and they were $1.19 a pound, so a great price, better than Piggly Wiggly. The chicken breasts, the boneless, skinless chicken breasts, $1.99 a pound. That was an okay price. Not fabulous, but okay. And then $2.99 a pound for these smaller, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I just really wanted that for certain meals that I make. Um, stir fry and... What else am I making? I can't remember, but anyway, um, I just like this, so I am willing to pay the $2.99 a pound. But I will um, be watching for this in upcoming flyers to see if I can get that to be a lower price than the Aldi price. Okay, the beef franks, which is what we always get, these just keep going up and up. It was $3.15 for eight hot dogs, but we just like the all beef franks versus you know, you're just typical ones with like three different animals mixed together. <laughs> did pick up some ham. Ham, again, is really, really um, increasing in price. I like this ham for very specific things, like when I make uh, those boxed scallop potatoes, I like to just dice this up and add this in. I also like to add this in if I'm making like scrambled eggs, and it's just very easy and convenient, and I am sometimes, actually usually once a month, about willing to pay that price. Still under the meat category. I thought we would do these. Um, I thought these were the chicken tenders, but I guess I got the chicken breast boys. That's totally fine. We're going to do these and make salads, like chicken salads for supper tonight. I did get some oven roasted turkey breast, and I don't know how much this is because we just, it was just something that we always get, and I was kind of assuming. Aldi would be the best price. I was hoping to find the sausage links, but they were totally out, so we had to get sausage patties. And that brings me to the whole idea that my normal way to once a month grocery shop is to go to Aldi first. I usually have an enormous list 
I spend upwards of $400 there. I get everything I possibly need for the month. And then anything I can't get at Aldi or is just things that I normally get at Walmart, I just kind of, I circle the items on my list that Aldi was out of. And then when I go to Walmart, I just pick them up there. And usually, <laughs> I mean, there's been times over the last couple of years, but usually then the items that they didn't have at Aldi, they will then have at Walmart and I just pick them up there. So that's the first sort of little dilemma that I am in with this style of grocery shopping, not shopping all on one day. Because on my list, here are all the things that I would normally be able to get at Aldi and they were completely out of today. Hash brown patties, cream of mushroom soup, cream of celery soup, fruit snacks, the tube pork sausage, and ginger. So those are all items that they were out of that most likely they would have in stock at Walmart. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm just guessing they would. And so now I ended up coming home without those things because I really don't want to have to take a stop somewhere else. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is decide if I am going to just sort of save up a list for Walmart or maybe when the flyers come out for next week and I see what's on sale next week, I might just grab those items at one of the other stores, although the prices are going to be higher than Walmart if it's not an on sale item. So I am in a little bit of a dilemma and we probably in the end I will by February or March be right back to my normal way of shopping because it's, I mean, it has worked for 25 years, you guys. <laughs> I only picked up four dozen eggs today. Our chickens are giving us about one egg, that's five chickens, one egg every day. And we do try to get it before it freezes. We're not always successful though. Some hash brown potatoes, some cheese. This is just a variety of Colby Jack, um, sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, that type of thing for slicing, for shredding, really whatever. And then some of these medium cheddar slices. We are gonna have hamburgers or cheeseburgers later in the week. I thought that would go well there. And then just some cream cheese because I completely um, exhausted my supply over um, the holidays and so I wanted to get some more of that on hand. I did need some tomato soup so I picked up four of those and then we were very we we're actually out of green beans so I picked up a case or a flat of green beans. Three of these oyster crackers. You guys, if you go to Aldi, you must buy these. They are so delicious. We have gone through bags and bags of oyster crackers over the last um, six weeks probably because we just love these so much. And then some regular old saltine crackers. And then on the bread department, I didn't really need much. Again, I just picked up some buns for hamburgers later in the week. And then a couple loaves of bread. We have one loaf in the freezer. And I have just, I just have found that we have not been eating as many things that require or, you know, utilize just regular bread. So, and I've been making some more bread, like, like not really the kind of bread that we would make sandwiches with, but just making bread as part of a meal. And so, um, anyway, two, two loaves of bread for this month. I didn't need a whole lot in line of fruit so we just picked up some of the cuties or the mandarins they were on sale for $2.99 for a three pound bag and then also uh, the peppers were on sale $2.99 I picked up some romaine this was the only type of lettuce I could find I wanted to get they had the organic spring greens on special this week at Aldi but they were completely sold out so I just ended up with the regular romaine some celery because we were just getting very low and then some green onions I have a reason for this. I can't remember what it is right now, but you know, once I look at my menu, I will know. Here's one gallon of milk. I did get six two percents. Uh, just the other five are in the fridge already. One ketchup, one ranch, one olive oil, one barbecue sauce. <laughs> I did pick up cinnamon and cloves, one brown sugar, and one thing of sugar. Some ramen noodle soup. You know that Peter loves to make this for lunch and he loves to make dumplings. And so I picked that up basically. Usually he's the only one that will make that. Maybe Sam too. And then some instant rice because I had used all of mine up. And some Hershey bars for having like winter fires and making, making s'mores. 
So that means I'm going to have to put one of these boxes of graham crackers away, up high, behind something. <laughs> and so that we have those, because we already have marshmallows. Another box of graham crackers, which of course Joe will find in a, in a hurry, and they will be gone lickety-split. And then two of these cereal bars, so or fruit and grain bars, I guess they're called. We went with the cherry, I think that's the first time, and because Maria was like, yeah, I'm willing to try a new flavor. And then the apple cinnamon, which is an old standby. So that is everything that I bought today. It doesn't look like a whole lot, even for a hundred, what did I tell you guys it was? A hundred and almost $68. It seems like not very much for that, but like I said, a number of things, prices are going up. Um, the hot dogs were going up. This ham has gone up. This used to be about $3.59 a pound. And today, it's $4.49 a pound. These have gone up. Eggs were a little more than normal, just a few cents more than they had been. So definitely grocery prices are increasing. I've definitely noticed it. I'm sure that you all are noticing it too. And yeah, I just encourage you guys either shop the flyers or, um, you know, give once a month grocery shopping a, a try. And I say that to you even though I didn't do that this time. But I will give you a quick rundown of my menu. It's just kind of written out very, very crudely on a, on a piece of printing paper here. Typing paper? That's I still call it typing paper. <laughs> so this week, although tonight, we'll see, this would actually be Monday, but... I don't really have these exactly how we're going to have them. They're just meals, and I will just kind of decide on the night. Um, you know, I'll kind of look at our calendar and decide when we're going to have what. So anyway, one of the things we have earmarked for this month is going to be meatloaf, pepper steak, hug and kiss soup, a hunter's delight casserole. Some of these things have been earmarked for a couple months, and sometimes things just happen and you end up having a lot of something or a small group at home and so you just don't eat it up as fast as you think. Uh, hamburgers, chili, uh, some chicken stew, chicken and rice hot dish, Amber's creamy potato soup, scallop potatoes and ham, some salsa ranch chicken, you guys. I still want to make that. <laughs> And it's going to happen. That's why I got this meat right here. Um, the garlic chicken in a cast iron pan. That's one of, I just absolutely love doing that. Chicken stir fry, some barbecue chicken thighs. That's why I wanted to get these. That is so good to just spread these out, put a little salt and pepper on them, like spread them out on a greased broiler pan, salt and pepper them, and then put barbecue sauce on, flip them a couple times as they're baking in the oven. Oh, they're just so, so good. I love doing that. And then we'll probably have some chili again, some scrambled eggs, like a breakfast for, for supper kind of thing, some marinated steak. We'll have some fish, some biscuits and gravy, some Salisbury steak. Haven't made that in a long time, and I have been really having a taste for that. Taco salad and some more hamburgers. So that is the menu plan or the meal plan for the month for suppers for January. If you guys stuck around that whole time, you can subscribe someplace around here, maybe over here. <laughs> and uh, if you want to, you know, be informed of my latest videos as soon as possible, as well as check out these grocery hauls. They were some fun ones from over the last couple of years. And thank you for watching, and you guys have a fantastic day.